Amazon, you seriously messed up my girl's pocket design detail. You honestly did. You did. You did. And I'm mad. I could feel all of the turb. I tested this out today. One thing I would add is that of all the drops that I have been seeing, this is the one that really, really interests me because hey guys welcome to my channel as you guys know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability this top <laughs> as usual i flipped it around this should be actually be the front <laughs> but i like to switch my tops around i think it gives it a higher neckline that I absolutely love and I find that more flattering as well. Be creative guys. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. So today it may not look that sustainable but keep in mind that we may often buy from fast fashion stores as long as it's not often, as well as if you incorporate your mantra, if you do have one. Mine is fabric, fit, and style. As well as if you keep in mind that these are pieces that you would have in your wardrobe for a very long time. For me, it's often when I see that I could wear an item for a lifetime or could be passed on to somebody else instead of me getting fed up with it and donating it at some point in the near future. So that for me is what imperfect sustainability is all about. So that's why today I took the chance to grab some of Karen Brick Chick's Amazon The Drop. Oh, even the name Amazon itself, yeah. It doesn't really bring me much comfort, but here we go. So, you guys know me. I love me a great high-waisted pants. And the higher the waist, the better. I was looking for a replacement for this. This is a pants I got from Zara. I absolutely love it. The style. The fit on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta, and of course, it's a hundred percent viscose. Yeah, I love this pants, but my pieces have to be versatile. This I felt would fit right into that category the structure as well as the fabric makes it a bit more work casual transition kind of vibe so i love that as compared to this this material is very almost luxe looking and more event looking so, so guys yes this i see the potential of its versatility Hence the reason for this. I've been in the market for it a very long time. And I definitely love the style. So, I love it so much. When it's nice, I did it twice. So I'm wearing the khaki version of it. And I'll style both of these for you. I'm going to show you a casual style as well as a walkwear style and show you my issues oh my test for the current brit chicks pants in terms of length um this is a 3.5 heel and i often wear these this length heel at work so let's see where it falls i bought this in the extra large 
as mentioned because I wanted it really long. Yes, it's a bit big, but I am okay with that. I, I am not stuck up on size. I have no hang-ups about size. I don't care. I wear things way extra extra large just for comfort. So we'll see how this pairs with this. So as you could see, the pants is definitely a tad too short on me and especially with a 3.5 heel, yeah, it's not ideal. I have to crouch a bit for it to give me that effect, but it's okay. I'm all good. The style makes up for it. And keep in mind that she had already warned us about this issue. Work never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. much shorter heel so let's see how this pairs with this and this is often a heel that I would wear to work in office and as I stand up it no longer covers it but it's still fine that's how I like it like that to get it as I stand up straight I lose that effect Yo, I think about others way before myself yeah I guess that's why I feel like I go through hell damn wasting time on your dreams instead of mine yeah about to turn this franchise but around on a nothing absolutely nothing beats the look of this pants and this cobalt blue ah the color jeez man it's a wow for me the next i'm gonna try and of course when you wear flats it's a no-brainer so i'm sure it's gonna be more suitable with flats and it's all about finding your right state of mind. It's all about turning the worst into fine. It's all about time and the work and the climb from the thirst. We will rise. I'm immersed in this life. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your worth. Just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time. Outfit was a really great hit when I wore it out the other day. Since it was such a great hit, I thought I'll show you this style as well. Um, not many people say anything much, but it definitely did turn heads. And this is a typical outfit I would wear to work. That's why I really, really love these pieces because they fit seamlessly into my work 
wear and could transition into a bar look so easily so yeah <laughs> I have to fold my hands into fists for them to fit inside <laughs> This is exactly what I wore. not true i want to put up all my walls because i'm not in the mood but then i cut myself off from the rest of the room i know i can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn my main issues with these two items well it's essentially the same style anyway are oh my gosh that is why i have little trust in fast fashion items as much as I love these guys no 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 Karen they messed up with your pockets I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you have learned something and I will see you in the next one take care and so it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts